and happy new year welcome to team woolly sheep reviews this was an old wing this is off a, a bogey didn't fly quite as well as i wanted it to so but i kept the wings like i said it was a nice design what i liked about the design is is if you look at it it looked a bit like a bird wing so i used to get a lot of interest from some of the buzzards and some of the birds of prey <laughs> wondering what was flying beneath them so yeah it was a, a nice nice set of wings and uh, another set of wings i've got here is is a set of uh, multiplex easy star wings so what's the point of keeping these wings if they're good i can't throw them away so i got lots of things like bits of carbon fiber <laughs> some bits of old planes and you know there's some tail section and then i thought this is extremely strong this was a tail boom off a skywalker it was a skywalker fpv plane and this was the tail boom section and i cleaned all the glue off it and got it looking half decent and i thought i'll keep this you know it you know it, it actually weighs next to nothing so i thought i'm gonna keep hold of this and then I started gathering some bits and you know I had some of this this square section which was uh, 15 mil carbon fiber it's and I thought hmm, why not make a plane using this as the main fuselage like I said it's strong but it's very very light why not make a plane using the carbon fiber i've got a 3d printer i should learn how to use the 3d modeling software and start designing a plane if i make a fuselage that's pretty bomb proof that can take different wings i've got an idea i need to get to the pc Fusion 360 and, and actually did learn how to use it so during the Christmas holiday I spent time in front of the computer learning how to use to do, learning how to 3d model so that's how I spent most of my Christmas holiday uh, learning a new skill so I now can design and then 3d print it these things were all designed by myself and I'm, I'm quite proud of that and it was a learning curve I set myself a task to let's design it let's print it let's test check it out and if it's if I'm happy with it or redesign it but the idea of this is everything is interchangeable so if I have a heavy landing and something breaks some of the plastic breaks I can just simply print a new set and keep going as long as I don't snap the carbon fiber tube so it's making use of the things that we are, I sound like a womble. Remember that? A womble. Making the use of the things that you find. Things that most everyday folks leave behind. But, and you know, so it's it's well worth keeping, keeping these things because you don't know when they're gonna come in handy. So it's a combination of spare parts, carbon fiber and 3D printed. And I'm gonna have my own plane. And hopefully, 
it'll fly as good as it looks because at the moment it's looking pretty damn awesome all i gotta do is put it together and lock it all in place fine tune the center gravity and away to go the receiver i'm using i don't know whether you've come across these but this is obviously the free sky receiver but this is the rx6r the rx6r they boast that these have got better range than the x series the standard x series plus it's quite small so that's going to fit on on that ledge nice the two wired antennas will hang down but they reckon that's two kilometer range on that so perfect for for fpv more sensitive so it should should handle being near carbon fiber like i said i've got the antennas going down and away from the carbon fiber and obviously it's on the underside obviously I'm, it's flying above me so it's better to have them come in down and that's the receiver i'm going to use but i i've got i've got a pair of these because money's no object obviously now they, these are actually what, 24 pounds that's so 28 dollars 30 dollars so they're pretty reasonable and i needed two receivers so i'm looking forward to trying these obviously there's these are the eu lbt versions now i found out that there's an eu lbt version 2 which is for transmitters after 2020 2019 onwards and then there's the access version of the firmware which don't go there treating myself for Christmas this is coming up soon this is a sonic model this is the mini AR wing so it's it's like I've got an AR wing it's above me I'm looking up there and it is I've got an AR wing but this is the mini AR wing it's 600 mil wing span so obviously it's in pieces so so this is this is coming soon the mini AR wing I'm quite pleased with that. I, I really like these little wings. But so anyway, so I'm looking forward to 2021. Lots of things to do. So plenty to do. Just ain't got enough time to do it all. So uh, thank you for that. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this as a sort of part one, and I'm gonna put it together, set it all up, and then I'll come back to you when it's all assembled, and I'll have a little talk about some of the the things I've found. I will share the 3D printed parts on Thingiverse. So I haven't done it yet. I'm gonna upload it. I have got an account. So I'm gonna put them on there. So if somebody wants to download them and have a, they might have a 20 mil carbon boom and a bit of 15 mil, but obviously it's dedicated to this plane. I'm gonna put them there for safekeeping. But if somebody wants to, to take the parts, then so be it. If I can share the, the workable files, I'll do that as well. Thank you for watching Team Willy Sheep Reviews and I'll get back to you soon. So have a safe January. Bye.